Hello everyone, in this video let us learn how to find out the ramp response if we are given a transfer function. So before I start off with the ramp response, let me tell you that the R of S value for step response, for unit step response is 1 by S, for unit impulse response R of S is 1, for unit ramp response R of S is 1 by S square. So don't worry about what this R of S is because you're going to know right now. So you have a transfer function T of S is equal to we have a transfer function t of s as given here i have used the same example in my videos of finding out the impulse response and the step response of given transfer functions so now we have t of s is equal to this all you need to do is write down c of s by r of s is equal to this transfer function so first of all let me tell you that c of t is your required time response so now looking at the above transfer function forget this forget t of s we have c of s is equal to s plus 3 into s by s plus 1 into s plus 11 into s plus 7. How can you obtain c of t from the above equation? So the first thing you're going to do is send r of s, send r of s to the right hand side. And that is exactly what we're going to do. So now we have C of S is equal to R of S into S plus 3 into S by S plus 1 into S plus 11 into S plus 7. Now, if you remember what I have told you right now, in a ramp response for a unit ramp signal, R of S value is 1 by S square. So I am going to substitute 1 by S square in place of R of S. So now you can cut this S and a square here so so c of s is equal to s plus 3 into s in by s into s plus 1 into s plus 11 into s plus 7 to find out the c of t which is your time response you need to apply laplace inverse on c of s so laplace inverse of c of s is equal to c of t but if you look at the right hand side of the equation right now you notice that you cannot apply laplace inverse directly because what is here is a huge fraction now you need to resolve this huge fraction into what are called as partial fractions you can obtain these partial fractions either manually or by using the many reliable internet sources there are many websites which offer to calculate partial fractions if you give them a huge fraction as an input now the formula you need to remember is Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus 1 1 by s plus 1 is e power minus t if you remember the simple formula everything is going to be very simple so now just resolve this c of s into partial fractions by resolving you get them as so here down i have written c of s as partial fractions so if you resolve the transfer function into partial fractions, you're going to get C of S is equal to minus 1 by 30 into S plus and what blah, 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 blah. So now, first of all, take the Laplace inverse for C of S. 
which is C of T. So once you have taken the Laplace inverse of C of S, take the Laplace inverse for these individual terms. That is Laplace inverse of minus 1 by 30 into S plus 1. So minus 1 by 30 will be same. S plus 1 will become e power minus t. Right? In the same way, you will get minus 1 by 42 into e power minus 70. So once you find out Laplace inverse for the entire equation, you will get and if I have forgotten to mention before, Laplace inverse of 1 by s is 1. So for the final term, we are going to get 3 by 77 into 1. So above is the equation for uh, the time response. So now from this equation, we can calculate the uh, unit ramp response and we can plot the U ramp response of the transfer function which we have taken in the question. So now let us plot for different values of t c of t so now taking t here and c of t here write down the values first of all when t is 0 you get c of t as 0 when t is 1 you get 0 0.02667 when t is 2 0 0.03 4, 4. So in the same way you can plot as many values as you want. Now all you need to do is take a clean graph sheet, take a clear graph sheet and mark the axis, take time which is t on the x axis and c of t which is your amplitude on your y-axis and take scale as it suits your need so the ramp response is gonna come like this hope you found uh, this is the ramp response okay so hope you found this video informative and interesting and if you want to uh, know about impulse and step responses you can browse for my other videos you can visit my channel and if you have an exam tomorrow all the very best and what else have a great day ahead